All right, so listen, hope you guys have been fabulous today. Hopefully all that's been, uh, been pretty good. Hopefully your summons and everything's been going pretty well. Your lottery, whatever, has been going pretty well. Uh, but today, I wanted to talk about something because I got a lot of comments recently. They've been saying, hey, go, go, listen, I'm getting destroyed in PvP. This is going on. Listen, why the hell am I getting stomped? Two things. Yeah, two game-breaking characters. And guess what? Blubbery Will said, let me go and uh, splurge. You also had people that just got, you know, free-to-play luck, by the way. 6-6, six, six, one rotation. That also occurred. Realize that now that these characters are heavy CC, that's the case. But there are things that you can do, okay? And this is why I wanted to talk about this. Because with this recent update, a lot of people that do prioritize these things screw you. Because guess what? They did it, you didn't. And you might not know about this, or you might. But it's just some basic things you can do right now and help yourself out a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes, most of these things inquire or require A, let me put some money into the game. I'm not saying you have to. Again, I'm doing decently fine on my account free to play where I'm able to compete in some sort of capacity and actually do some good CC on my teams because I actually have my overall box done properly and everything kind of handled. With the latest update, they also added some new features that completely screw you. So let me show it to you today. New to the channel, like, subscribe, help us out a ton. Let's jump into it. Also, please realize before I get attacked in the comments, I already know it's going to happen. Yes. What I'm going to share with you here today is basic information that can help you, right? It can. You have to do this. You'll take care of it. But it won't give you a cheat code to beat 6-6 six, six whales and all of that. It's going to happen where people whale on these banners. They're the two best banners of the year. People that saved the entire year through had gems to do this. They also had money to do this. It's the end of the year. They got some Christmas money, whatever. They had a chance to get some dupes out on both Melly and Esquire. And they have a really fortified team, okay? That's what's going to happen, right? You, some matches you'll face those people and some matches you won't. It's just, yes, you'll lose those matches. Whatever tips I can give you, the best person in the world can give you some tips. It'll never change anything. Dupes are really heavy on CC. That's how it's going to be. But there are some things you can do to win those little CC battles that are helpful. And they are things that, you know, kind of did help me. And it brought my team up basically from like one originally 170 or 165 all the way to 172 and then with cc food and everything else on top of it you can jump up so it is really good advice and it is helpful and it's basically how my jp accounts did go from crap to good so first i'm going to start here and then work my way to the game and do it there properly but i want to read you the entire thing right so again i talked about this earlier on that this is going to be an important thing that you need to keep in the back of your head right um basically what's been going on now is with the new year's update there's been a big update to the fact of GP points and all of that progression and everything. That is where people are winning. Because first, there's a lot of units that you can acquire. People are acquiring them. When they acquire them, that helps with GP points. That's the first thing. Second thing, there's box buffs, okay? With the original way before this update has happened, there was no point in grinding to a specific point because you have to wait like 2 million box CC till you get the next buff. But now, they lowered the requirement to where every 500,000, you can go and walk away with a buff. That's what they did, right? And with that change, it was actually immaculate because it actually helped you. For example, right here, we'll start with this one. Account combat class buff changes. You see 4.55, 5.56, 6.57, 7.58. This is what they did to it, where they allowed you to, if you're at a point like 4.5, it would have taken you till a 6, I think, and then till 8, and then till then. It'll just keep going on that way. Now they added it where you can get some buffs. For here, you'll get defense. Over here, after that same amount, 2 million, you'll get some HP. First thing is you want to go and continuously upgrade your CC. That is it. Go through your box. Go put on gear. Go do all those simple things. In your box, you first off should have everybody running an HP defense set just for uh, the reason of CC. That's all you should do. Before you even build gear sets for people, have that gear just active. You recently had two events that gave you an insane amount of gear, which it should be done just to have it. Again, on the other side of things, when you do have extra materials and you're not planning on building somebody, realize that putting those mats into people, for example, units in the future that you can use, is a good idea for extra GP points. You want every little piece of CC you can potentially get before going into PvP, and this mainly is the way. So I'm going to go in down here. So for Jazzy's account, he has some characters down here that aren't leveled up at all. Some of them that he recently pulled, some of them that he pulled over time that he just didn't get to upgrade. Let me say that I go through and upgrade these characters. I can probably amass like 300, 400, 500 GC, uh, GP points. First off from Super Awakening them, which I wouldn't do. Just regular Awaken them. But you can Limit Break them. The mats that are for the original or regular demons, like not the original in Belmoth, but the original old ones, red, green, whatever, those ones, you can go and get them all the way to 80. Don't have to 90 them, just get them to 80. That's a bunch of GP points in itself. Then going and, you know, potentially affinitying them, right? That's not even a word, but get your affinity up. All of that will grant you GP points. And if you go through and also go and just equip them with some sort of gear, you also recently have the, uh, this one, 36 pieces of this. That's a lot of CC, bro. 
it's i think altogether someone did the math for me it was 400 to 500 thousand cc they went up by putting this together so that's a lot of cc that's already one defense buff which is pretty good i um, mean it's a little bit helpful overall but yes if you go through every single character put them on get these sets together it will help you in the long run right so again yes you might be losing because you can't compete against a 6-6 you can't that's not going to happen but realize that some fights you might be getting out cc'd on is because of your doing that maybe you know you didn't out cc for the reason of your gb points are super low your uh comment class is just super bad on your box and all that they haven't been leveled up maybe your cosmetics aren't even there where you haven't maxed them out that's also something you can do um that grants you more uh, gb points for acquiring more of them or just more cc because you have them leveled up those are all things you can just manage right that can help you Again, I can't stop it, and neither can you. If you go against a person that just has maxed out everything, it's gonna happen, right? Happens to me. I do videos. I try doing PvP videos here and there. And when I run into a team, it's just I lost. It, it, whatever team formation I have, I could have the best team formation in the world. My CC isn't there. Their units are just stacked out of their mind. You're gonna lose. Simple as that. So again, go through. Have fun with that. Do whatever in your power that you can possibly do. Get them all kind of sorted out. And again, if you still continue to lose, that's just, that's how it is. Sometimes some characters, some players actually have really put money in and it's going to happen. Overall, again, you can't fight that thing. It's just, you know, go into the next match and hope you do better. That's, that's literally it. I experienced it too. I'm free to play. It's, it's terrible to deal with, but what can you do? And again, I would talk about advice for this thing, this chaos um, constellation thing that's been added, but you probably haven't encountered that. If you're dealing with like the loss of PvP matches back to back, you have to get first off to upgrade the sloth constellation, which majority of people don't have. I'd say like 50%, uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm too high there, but 50% of the player base does not have the sloth constellation filled out. That's big, all right? To get that filled out, that's a lot of freaking mats and a lot of freaking characters leveled up and all that and a lot of freaking GP points. I don't think you have that. So this isn't affecting you per se, but when you do get to where this is going to grind towards also, once you complete that Sloth Constellation, which might take you a few more months, uh, but when you do that, this is a system that you'll unlock and have the ability to use. Then when you finish the next Constellation after that, you'll unlock, uh, what is it? After completing the Constellation Gluttony, you then get this one, next one, which is, um, it's going to be opened up later on. But that's something too. Um, again, I don't know if you're what position in the game you are at, but if you are close, let's say your constellation of slots is like 50 or 40 or 30, start working towards it, finish it up, and then you'll have the ability to open up this new thing, which every Monday, and this is something that also uh, you should keep in mind, it resets where it gives you two free or a certain amount of free refreshes. That's pretty helpful, right? So it is recommended that you get there faster. I'll be honest with you. I am close. I am not there yet. No, I am close. It will take me like a week or two if i pulled a few more banner units and i was able to level them up and everything like that on this uh, current banner i would have made it i didn't so i eh, can't win with there um, i'm still missing majority of the characters on my uh, on my free to play here which sucks but it is what it is um mainly if i do farm the og demon here and there i get some more gb points from that and i can buy some more cosmetics during this uh, cosmetic sale probably can get a little bit more but again it'll take me a while to actually you know finish off sloth so this is why i'm not recommending this but i'm just saying this is something else too that whales have so again back to the thing yes whales have this you might not have this it does help out a little bit does give you some extra stats um that are super helpful but remember there are things you can do again not great insane things that you can go and get a 6-6 Ascalon or whatever, but you can try your best to acquire some GP points and level up your account as much as you can. Max out your cosmetic sets. Max out all of that. Get some associations with stronger things of, um, what is it, old gauge, right? Or old uh, levels. You can't compete when it's a 6-6 Ascalon, right? Those are things that you'll have to deal with, but I just want to talk about this, that something that you should move towards and focus on as time progresses. These systems are opened up. Um, and this is why it's been a little bit harder too, because some whales and some you know belugas out there have access to this already, right? And they also, if they're reaching these points right here, there's a lot of extra things. If they're getting 13 million, which I don't know if that's possible yet on global, it is possible, but you know, damn. First off, I don't think we're getting there yet. It'll take us a little bit more uh, more time for a majority of the community to get there. But I know people that are reaching around 8, that's getting that 13%, it's getting a little bit more. If reaching around 10, you get 4.5, 14, some jumps up there, right? But again, it's just, you know, you'll see in the future, you'll reach it at a point. If you continue grinding, you'll get there. It's just, you know, try your best to focus on these things, get them out of the way. It's bad advice, I know, but still, it's worth it to grind towards. It will help you. You know, the little CC battles here and there that you might lose, you might win those, but again, you, you might not win against that Beluga. You might win against, you know, Tom. Yeah, Tom is a great guy. You might win against him. Again, hopefully that was helpful. I wanted to talk about this because I got a lot of comments saying it. And there's a lot of new players that just wanted to ask. Again, with any gacha game, I know, I know people are also complaining like Grand Cross sucks. It's all Grand Cross's fault. A lot of gacha games are like that. In PvP, it's just heavy whales or, you know, you don't succeed. Again, if you're not grinding towards the top of PvP, you're just trying to have fun, you can still compete in some capacity. Yes, right now we have the time of meta where point and delete is a thing. Melee, Eskner. Uh, Melee's more strategic, but Eskner is just point delete. That is there. So 
There are team comps that are uh, kind of dwindled down to running only Escobar Melee or running Attack Seal or running Cleanse only or running Full Counter, all that. Those are things that have been, you know, the kind of norm right now, but that's just how it is. That's around this time of year is what happens because the two best units of the year release. And again, after a few months, maybe the meta changes again to where some other units are actually meta. Um, I don't see Escobar falling off that hard anytime soon, but it could happen, right? So there is that. That's been it. Catch the next one. Have a stay safe. Hopefully that was a quick video just to uh, talk about everything. And again, I'm sorry. I'm going to get, you know, attacked in the comments saying this man's just told me to do something that's normal and you know i'm not gonna win against the 6-6 anyways again i said you can't win against the 6-6 there are 6-6 that's what happens let's just move on and try out another match